Here I am. <laughs> Gabriella is going to the University of Michigan. What I would like to do is talk to Teresa about it. No, don't talk about me. OK. Teresa, do you want to tell my husband what you said? I'm a drug dealer. It's out on social media. You don't know oh shit. Don't. You have your bag? Ready? Valentina just signed with a professional talent agency, because she's a star. Nobody should be surprised that this is like the avenue I wanted to go with my family. Like, Valentina will win an Oscar one day. This is just how it was supposed to be. Girl, you better you smile. smile. What was that? Smile. You better smile. We're all going to be together again. Danielle invited us to a, uh, yeah, I heard a that. thing down the shore. When Gabriella leaves for college, like, we're all gonna feel a difference because she's like the rock of the family. Gabriella puts the alarm on every night. She writes texts to us like, the dog just peed. I picked it up. I'm so tired of it, you know? And then we're going to Nate's party tomorrow night. Can't wait. Um, I have nothing to say to Margaret tomorrow night's not the time or place. There's things that I can't say because it involves legal issues, and it's regarding Margaret Joseph, but I can't wait for the world to see what a liar she is. I'm gonna be so happy singing like a bird. <laughs> Melissa got pregnant with Antonia within two months that we got married. So we were trying to figure out who we were as a couple while also trying to figure out how to be parents. That was like yesterday. My baby. And you're my only daughter and I love you so oh, God, much. No. <laughs> and I can't believe you're leaving me and I'm going to miss everything about you. Joey G changed my life like 180 degrees when you embraced when I came out. The way I love you guys, you really don't. He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry. Can, can we stop? It's your fault. Melissa's family embraced me from the minute I met them. And the fact that my side of family is not here tonight, it's bittersweet. You know, I love you. I love you. I have Danielle and Jennifer coming over. How's work going? Good. Gia graduated from Rutgers with a criminal justice degree. And she moved back home. While she was in school, she was working for an immigration firm because of what happened with her dad. But she's still thinking about what kind of law she wants to get into. OK, you get emotional. You cry over, like, everything. Not really. I mean, I don't really always cry. Yeah, you do. No, I, I do. <laughs> I mean, I cry, I cry more than, like because of, of you guys. You don't got one pimple on your ass. It's the tan. You got a nice tanned ass. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. I would do a double-sided dildo with you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Did I tell you I was gonna have a birthday party for Joe Saturday? No. Okay, oh. since Danielle is having everyone anyway down the shore, it's Joe's birthday that weekend. Just real quick, I'm staying at John and Rachel's house at the shore. It's like a really slippery slope for me trying to build a new friendship with her. You want to be friends with Rachel? Like, God bless. I want to authentically always be myself with these girls, and I don't want to be persuaded by anybody. Whatever they want to believe, they believe. They don't want to believe, they don't believe. We don't have to move forward. When John was 17 years old, he was selling pot and got arrested. That's it. That's the story. Her to try to weaponize something that my husband went through as a child is disgusting coming from a criminal herself. Ready? Teresa, we're back home. I know. <laughs> What's up? Are you guys hungry? Ooh, I'll split that with you. When's Bill coming? I don't even have anything else to say to her. Nah, it's ridiculous. But she's your friend, Jen Fessler. OK, here we go. You're going to have to pick on Here we go. Uh -huh. Here we go. I don't go into situations when someone says something mean. I'm not in turn mean. So I don't have any beef with Teresa. The writing's on the wall. It is, but I think that she fights dirty. The lower you go, the lower she goes. I'm going to tell you right now, I really like Rachel and John, but it's always hard to be put in the middle. Oh, oh my god. Hold on. The Cabral's are here. Thank you. I really am enjoying the new Rachel and our friendship. It's a totally different vibe than last year. Coming. Want espresso? Yes. Oh, Joe, you can't be wearing my wig. <laughs> that wig's a lot of money. You seriously went all out? Awesome. Thank you. I'm alive. I'm alive. Here he is. Last minute thing. They flew in today. Celebrate <laughs> my life now. Oh. Well, What's up? You saved your husband. Good job. Yeah. That's a yeah. woman right there. That's a woman. That's you know how us Leo's. That's right. Okay. Now, is everyone on their first husband? <laughs> well, I mean, that's how you really get to know somebody. Who oh, asked awesome. that? First husband. Hi, how are you? Hi, honey. How are you doing? I'm good. 
My sister is obsessed. She loves you. Yeah, I love her too. I wish I had a sister. And then it's so funny, her husband's like, she doesn't like too many people. No, and she says she doesn't like anyone. <laughs> to bring everybody here and celebrate the goodness that life can bring. You're welcome. Everyone had met at Margaret's house the night before the reunion. Yes. At Margaret's house was Jackie, not Evan, Margaret and Joe. Jeff and I were there. Melissa and Joe were there. We were prepping for Louis to have a lot of information because of the private investigator. You have okay. been investigated eye for an eye. You talk this big talk about the manila envelopes, and you didn't even open them. But like, as like somebody who has been friends with Margaret, for a while, I heard her hysterical the day that she thought that Louis called her son. Just Which is not on. true. Hold I on my four daughters, we did not do that. Her Jen Fessler might talk to Teresa. I know, oh, I think, think about it. It's very weird. See, when Jen Fessler's a little cocky, you, know, you never know what she's going to say. <sighs> you can't stop staring at Teresa because she's, you never know what's coming. So, yeah, I enjoy her, but can't help it. I do, I like her. Sorry. I feel really remorseful right now. Like, I feel like I should have known better.